Ever had seen any dark sides to the partying lifestyle? One hundred percent. I was a victim of the dark side of the party. I, just, I wanted. I was going to ask you up front, but I didn't know what you felt. <laughs> no, I was. Can you elaborate on that? I was. <laughs> I was sober for like two years. Yep. I uh, I overdid it and uh, it caught up with me. And what happened? Because I, I think I'm headed there. I think the <laughs> no, 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 problem was. There. I think the problem was, and it's a it's a big problem in America is these doctors that will over prescribe prescription drugs. I think this is a big problem. Mm -hmm. Like these guys are just ready to write you anything. Yep. And, uh, and you know, and then you get hooked on, uh, say your back pain is killing you and you're taking these pills all day long. And then you're dependent on that. And for me, I don't want to be dependent on anyone or anything. Mm. So like, uh, that's when, uh, so you know. Was it a, a, a pain medication? Yeah, it was, it was. Oh, obvious. Uh, yeah, Percocets. Yeah. So I was, uh, I was taking like three a day and then like, at one point I was traveling and I lost them. And like, it was just like, I lost my life. You know what uh. I'm saying? Like I was like getting sick and I was like freaking out and ended up flying home to, to get more. Oh. And I was like, dude, I just like flew home from the beautiful South of France, Saint Tropez to go get more painkillers because they don't have them in Europe. And I was like, this is the end of it. This is fucking it. And then, uh, yeah, I checked into like a rehab facility and it honestly changed my life. That's, I was a different person before then. Like I was, I had an ego. I wasn't grateful in life. You know, I didn't really. You were a slave to it. Uh, exactly. So. But it taught, but what you're saying is it taught you everything. It taught you, me yeah. so many lessons. And it taught me an even greater lesson is just like not to hold grudges with people. Like I forgive people immediately because like you being mad at someone is just like fucking with your head. Mm. Yeah, it's worse you know? for you than it it's is It's worse for, for you because yeah. all day long you're like, fuck that guy. And like, he doesn't know what you're thinking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Unforgiveness yeah. keeps them in control. That's yeah. like a big quote. New stat yeah. today as of the, uh, as of today, like just before I read it, just before we came on the podcast, 100,000 Americans died of uh, drug overdoses this year. More, wow. than, more than car accidents and uh, gun violence combined. Just mind blowing. I know it's and it's a dark stat, it's, but I just, it's, I, no, <laughs> you know, not it's not enough people are talking about. It. It's not getting the attention it deserves, and you know, it's it's all COVID and this and that, and um, it you know, every year it goes up by twenty, thirty thousand Americans, and they and they're just forgotten, and no one talks about it. It's just a, it's a sick, fucked up, uh, pharma money driven situation. Yeah, exactly. Because in Europe, there's there's no issues with I this. Know. You can't go get Percocets from, they're just like, dude, take a Tylenol. Yeah. <laughs> take an extra strength yeah, Tylenol. Fine. Like, why do you need to get so high from a, like, yeah. you Unless your limb is severed. No, like, I've no. gotten Demerol because my leg was off my body. Yeah, you know but like, saying? you like, had a little backache. Yeah, like, oh. like, no, dude. Like, go take a Tylenol 800, you pussy. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys say that, because growing up, I thought my mom was, like, losing her fucking mind. I had one wisdom tooth, only one. Don't say any jokes. I know where you guys are going with this. I only had one. Where and, are we going, George? And they <laughs> oh, only have one wisdom tooth. <laughs> I was not going to make a single joke about you being a dumbass. <laughs> but now I did. Because you brought it up. It's the same reason I call you fatty, bro. I wouldn't have said no, no, a thing. No, no, You call me a rhombus, bro. No, no. He called you a rhombus. I said your head looks like the foundation of a building. Quarter stuff. It does. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get mad at that. No, They're bro. They're making valid points. Be but when I got my wisdom tooth taken out, they give you um, painkillers. Yeah. My mom mm -hmm. wouldn't let me take it. She Good. like cut it into like 10 10% mm -hmm. and then gave it to and me. And took it all herself. She and she cut it into 10 <laughs> into she 10. She went. It. it was weird. She's like, "How's your tooth, honey?" <laughs> no, no, you no, but I, I was never allowed to take Advil growing up. I was never allowed to take All right. Well, no, now. I'm not kidding. They didn't want me to get used to this cuz a lot of kids <laughs> that's a little fucking. Can you imagine being addicted to Advil? It's like, "Yo, you got any more than ibuprofen, dog?" <laughs> no, they didn't. So they didn't want me to rely on things. They want they cuz they they saw how the school was just sending me to the nurse and all these kids were just getting Advils or like just uh, ibuprofen and shit like that at school. And she didn't like the fact- Who's gonna, who's gonna tell her that, that's, like that's, like, that's like That's like getting a milk carton. So I was like, what do you- Counter, just go she, walk I guess in. they didn't want it to grow to anything. The, well, I don't get how Advil could grow into anything. It's, yeah, it's not man, a seed. It's been a long trip for me, dude. Started off with Motrin. <laughs> <laughs> Look where it ended, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, you bro. Got one headache and then you ended up in the alley? Oh, no, the fucking hospital <laughs> gave me oxy forty, bro. OCs. Can you imagine? All major addiction stems <laughs> from over the counter Advil. Yes. What, if, what did you do? What if he's like, man, this headache went away? I wonder if I could get rid of this. Ah, more pills, pop. See, I I, I actually won't take pills. Uh, the the pain medications. 
after smart. after surgery no, because I just know, I I have an addictive personality smart. too. I, 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 I just said that. So you, we're not talking about ibuprofen, George. But I'm my grandmother saying, takes that. Kid, She's twelve pounds. I was a kid, she didn't want me to rely on it because when I'm an adult now, I don't do that. I don't like for today. I got. I'm not even going to go there. Dog, there's, but there's levels to it. Like when I got hit by a, a Toyota at full speed <laughs> on a bicycle and shattered my skull, I needed something. Like <laughs> like there's a there's a, to- a level of pain that becomes torture if you don't take a painkiller. And by the way, when that happened, I didn't take a painkiller because it was post getting clean. Oh. And so I actually still, even with blood squirting out of the back of my fucking head, I told him, no, I don't, I can't take it. Are you monitoring your behavior at all these days? Yeah, I mean, I had a root canal recently and it was amazing. They <laughs> prescribed me. <laughs> Wait, and that one, that is, one, are you relapsing? Like you go this way are you relapsing right? right now? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, Wait, why are you giggling like that? <laughs> no, I mean... Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, guys, we got a problem. Yeah, no, I mean, I do. I, I, think, um, I think addiction is a disease and it runs in your family. And for sure, I got it from my dad because mm. my dad drinks a lot and his dad had a problem. So I think it's a hereditary thing for sure. No, it absolutely Addictive is. personalities. But I realized this, people that, it could go both ways because a lot of successful people will say, yo, my father was like this or my mom was like this, I didn't want to be like that. Or my brother was like for this sure. or I was like this and I got mm. out of it. For example, Mike, the, uh, I think it has to do with just focusing. I think our minds are made to focus focus on one thing and just go 100 in. So when you're like into drugs, you're like, oh shit, I'm 100% into yeah. this. So I think this is dangerous. If you're going to be successful and be focused, it could be double yeah, do you, you know, off that point, that is, it is a really, really strong point. Do you, do you feel like you, uh, as you moved out of that addiction, you found yourself just addicted to your work? For sure. I mean, I've always been addicted to my work. That's why I've been so successful because I was graffitiing on every single street corner, street light, even on the ground and stuff like that. So I think that's what's uh, attributed to my success. Like if I wasn't an addictive person, I didn't have all these problems and all this fucked up stuff going on my head, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I would just be a regular guy. A lot of artists are like that. You know that. We we had this a couple... Episodes ago, that, tra- that trauma man is is you know that trauma the trauma man. man. There he is. He's he's like the he's boogie man for he's trauma. A guy. But I, I mean, there's nothing that I would want to hear more if I was a, a audience member that was like uh, going through some shit right now, watching impulsive. That that is what built me. It's what built you. It's yeah. what it is building it. Like if you can make dude. it, if you can make it out of that hole, what a what a a growth yeah. process. 